Hey friends, it's Rana and today we are going to see how many books can you actually read in a month using script and if it is worth our money. Before we start the video, I would like to welcome and thanks every single person who subscribed to my channel in the last month and a half where I wasn't really posting any videos because of the things that going on, the devastating things that going on all over the world. I was in a really bad mood and wasn't in the right mindset to just sit down and happily talk about books so i didn't post much but youtube decided to send hundreds and hundreds of people to my channel suddenly out of nowhere especially watching these two videos and many of you actually subscribe to my channel so i just want to welcome you and thank you for that I am trying to slowly get back to making videos, but if I don't feel like it, I might skip a week. I usually post one video a week. I'm really, really thankful for every single one of you, and I would like to welcome you with a big, big hug. So I've been thinking and working on this video for like a month and a half, two months, and I had this idea for so long, and I finally did it. I always wondered how many books can I actually read during a month on script. I used to listen to books, audiobooks on script a lot back in the day and read a lot of books on it. But the last year, year and a half, I didn't use it. I post my subscription of it and didn't use it for a whole year during my time I was making my zero TBR challenge where I wanted to tackle my physical TBR and read every single book I own. And I can't really remember how many books I actually read on script in a month because if you are if you open script you see that it it says that you can read unlimited amount of books each month so i wanted to test it out to see how many books can i actually read on script or how many books i can actually read that i'm interested in because if you never use the script whenever you listen or read books from your saved list on it uh, it uh, slowly removes books from it and make it unavailable till your next subscription renewal date. And what I noticed since the last time I used it, uh, it used to the subscription used to be less than nine ninety nine dollars. I remember it was a little bit less, like seven ninety nine. I don't know if I am mistaken or if they actually raised the subscription fees of it. And I wasn't really ready <laughs> to pay for a subscription, so. I'm in this video talking solely on the free two month trial of script and how much can you actually read on it. But I believe it is the same for paid subscriptions. And by the way, in the midst of me doing this experiment, a script decided to make the old application of script face a new name called Ever And. It is the same thing, same book, same audiobooks, just a new name called Ever And. And the name script is now used for an application where people can upload documents and books. I didn't use it, but I will refer to Ever And as script in the meanwhile. So I started this experiment on the 1st and the 2nd of October. I went on the application, made a new account with two month free trial. So I saved a hundred titles that I'm really, really interested in reading. And you can look at them right here. Some are audiobooks and some are um, ebooks, but the majority of it are audiobooks. The main reason why I love script so much is because I love the um, layout of the audiobooks player. And the fun thing about script that it, when you change the speed of the audiobook, it changes the duration of the book remaining for you to finish, which I really, really love. So the first book I started this experiment with is Woman Word by Amanda Daliwal. So it is a cute graphic novel with a beautiful color scheme talking about how the world would look like if men died or disappeared from the world and only women survived on it. It was cute and fun, and nothing mind-blowing, just something quick I read during my free time at work. When I finished this book, I was really happy when, to see that script didn't remove any books from my saved list yet, so I was so happy to jump to the next book on my list that I'm really excited to read. It is a new release, and you, if you know me, you know that I am not really a huge fan of releases, I don't 
follow them up. I don't really care about new releases, but this one was the exception. It is Evil Eye by Itaf Room, and I decided to listen to the audiobook of it. I previously read and loved this author's debut novel, A Woman is No Man, and I was really excited to read her new release. However, it ended up being very disappointing. I'm gonna talk about it in a whole nother video a review video of the book and once I finished Evil Eye I marked it as finished on script closed the application refreshed it and opened it again to <laughs> to no surprise to anyone I found they removed like 28 books from my saved list with of course the small line of notification at the top saying that these titles will be available on the 2nd of November i.e. the next uh, subscription renewal date but it was no big deal it, I had still a lot of available titles given that I started when, with 100 already and now there are less 28 books less. So next I decided to listen to another audiobook and this one is for a sequel of a historical fantasy called The Hidden Palace. It is the sequel to The Golem and the Jinni series by Helen Wicker and I loved the first book so much many years ago when I read it and I decided to finally pick up the second book. I started listening to it. I, it felt very different from the first book and honestly for the first time ever I didn't really enjoy the audiobook narrator of The Hidden Palace. It is nothing on old people. I listened to many great audiobooks narrated by old people but this one, I didn't find the narrator really suitable to this audiobook. He is a, he has a sweet voice of an old man, but I don't feel like he suits this audiobook. And the story was a, a lot different than the first book, and the style of it was different. So I remember like listening to two, two and a half hours of it before deciding not to complete it. So I removed it from my saved list. But for some reason, script decided to count as if I read the whole entire audiobook. And they removed even more books from my saved list. Even though I didn't actually finish the book, I didn't even listen to half of it. And it was a bit frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. If I remember correctly, they removed like extra 20 books or something like that or 15 books nonetheless it was really unfair of them to do that given that i didn't really listen to much of that audiobook anyway to count it as if i read it so to get over that i decided to pick a fun light read and i picked love from a to z by sk ali i know i know i'm not a romance girly but i wanted to give another chance to the romance genre in general so I decided to pick one that I know it is a clean romance and I picked this one I heard many great things from it about it so I started the audiobook and as I expected it ended actually being a fast fun read I give it four out of five stars it was cute light but I still feel like I'm not a romance girly again script even removed more books and now I don't have that many options left I don't remember if I screen recorded that but I believe I only had 20 then for from the very few options left from me for me I decided to pick a short horror novel called The Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. I heard a couple of YouTubers talking highly of this book so I started it. It is very very short like page wise it is 100 pages or something like that and listening to the audiobook I think it took me like two hours. It wasn't that fun. I didn't really enjoy it. I only gave two stars, but it is not a wrap-up video, so we won't get into it. And after finishing that book, Scrap decided to remove all the books remaining on my saved list and make them unavailable except for one book called Killing the Guys Who Killed the Guy Who Killed Lincoln by J.C. Joyce. And I believe because it is script exclusive book or something like that that's why they didn't remove it <laughs> the funny coincidence is i actually had the killing the guys who killed the guy who killed lincoln on my saved list before i knew that it is script exclusive so i had a slight interest in it and i said why not let's listen to it it was a quick read a little bit funny at times but not that great of a book it is okay 
After that, I had zero books that I'm interested in available for me on script. And it was only like the 10th of October. <laughs> and I had to wait all the way till the 2nd of November to read more books from the books I actually saved and wanted to read. You can take a look at what was available for me. <laughs> I don't know, these books may be interesting to some other people. I kept then checking script every two, four days till the end of the month to see if they if they will make some books available for me again if, if some time had passed from the last time I used the application, but they didn't do it. They didn't even make one title available for me. Except when uh, the new memoir of, what was her name? Britney Spears. Her memoir, the day it dropped, they made it available for me for like a couple of hours and then push, it disappeared. Was I interested in it? Not really, but it was really interesting seeing that they made it available for me on the day of its release. I have no other interesting book where it was available for me until the 2nd of November. So the first month I read five books. So when the 2nd of November came along, uh, they actually switched it up and turned the script into Ever End. And I was supposed to make this video at the start of November, but when I saw that they made these changes, I asked myself, maybe they will make it possible for us to read a little bit more books with the new changes and the new name of the site. So I told myself, let me push it for a few more days and try to listen to more audiobooks on Ever and and see if it is more books I can read or less books than I can read. And this time around, I went with the mindset that I wanted to listen to very popular books to see if it will change the results of how many books I can actually listen to. On the 2nd of November, I opened the application and all the books that were unavailable from my save list are now again available for me. I updated the application and it is now ever and and I started my first book. And the first book I decided to read I never have been interested in this book, but it is very, very popular here on BookTube, TikTok, uh, Instagram, all over the internet and the real world. And I swear to God, I never been interested in this book until I read Vicious by V.E. Schwab and I loved it. So I said, maybe I'm gonna enjoy this book if everyone else enjoyed it because it is by an author that I really loved a book by them before. So I started to read or listen to the audiobook of The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. It took me like a week to finish the audiobook because I didn't have that much time to listen to it and it is quite long. It is marketed as historical fantasy romance. I don't really know about the fantasy part of it because I didn't find much fantasy in it. It was like 95% of it historical romance and a sprinkle of fantasy. Again, we are not gonna review these books, <laughs> but I finished it. I think I gave it three and a half, four stars. Then I jumped to ne the next book because surprisingly, Ever Am didn't remove any books from my saved list after I listened to The Invisible Life of Adel Leroux and I was shocked and happy. I thought maybe they improved their application after the update so i immediately jumped to the next book and it is a book that i have been eyeing for a while it is allegedly by tiffany jackson another case of me reading a book by the author before loving it it, it was like monday not coming i really really enjoyed that book so i wanted to read another book by an author i enjoyed and this was this book i didn't enjoy it it was terrible but Oh well, after finishing allegedly, um, ever and removed 58 books <laughs> from my saved list. And I thought that they improved, but no, 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 no. You can see the remaining books that were available to me at that point. And I was really hesitant to what to pick next because I knew at that point that they will remove even more books. And I wanted to read books that I know I'm not gonna easily find it anywhere else. And so I picked <laughs> another romance book. I know, I know, who is she? So I started Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. 
I listened to a few hours of it and I stopped because I was reading a non-fiction book for non-fiction November and it was taking me so much time to finish and it is The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat and I wanted to see if, if Everand had the audiobook for it so I can quickly get through it and they had it. The problem, I, the mistake I made that I forgot to save it so I kept listening to it for like two and a half hours or something like that and then I closed the application and after I got back from work I opened it and the man who mistook his wife for a hat the book has disappeared from the application because I didn't save it they removed it completely from the application you can't see it anywhere else and I don't know why they did it because it never happened with me before they never made a book unavailable while I was reading it or listening to it it just because I didn't save it in my list they made it disappear so I went ahead and finished reading that book with my eyes instead of listening to it and completed better than the movies by Lynn Painter as an audiobook and that's it mm. That's all the books they let me read in the month of November. Only three books and two hours from the man who mistook his wife for a hat. Which I couldn't believe because the previous month you let me read five and two hours of a book, five and a half books. And this month you let me three and a half. What is the math behind your sight, <laughs> Everhand? Please explain. You can imagine my shocked face when I entered Everhand and found no books available to me. They were all titles will be available soon on December 1st. And that was like three books that I read. What? Make it make sense. The previous month, I read five books. This month, you let me read only three. Yes, there are the um, weird available books on script that no one reads. Let's be honest, unless you are of a niche taste <laughs> with books on script. But the remaining books... I'm not gonna read them. Is it possible that they don't count the books but count the length of the books? I'm gonna make put my calculations here because my brain isn't working right now. Women Word was 259 pages. Evil Eye by a top form is 11 hours and 14 minutes. Love from A to Z is 9 hours and 11 minutes. Crossroads by Laurel Hightower is around 3 and a half hours. Killing the guys who killed the guy who killed Lincoln by Jesse Joyce is like 2 hours and 47 minutes. And 2 hours of the book that I finished in October, which is The Hidden Palace. The Invisible Life of Adele LaRue, 17 hours and 10 minutes. Allegedly 10 hours and 33 minutes. Better than the movies, 10 hours and a half. So these are the calculations of the books I read in October and November so using script slash ever and. Do they add up? Are they equal amount or nearly equal amount? Or are they going on the popularity thing, not the length of the book thing? I can't really tell. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> so now the biggie question. Is script slash ever and worth your money? Is it worth $10 a month? Yes and no. Because yes, because you can listen to more than audiobook. Unlike Audible, it is way more expensive and I don't like to support Amazon. No, because you can't actually pick exactly what you want to listen to. May the first book, yes. The second book, yes, maybe. The third book, you have way less options because they keep removing books from your list. So if they want my advice on improving their application or website, I suggest that they keep the fee of $10 a month. However, you can also be honest with us and tell us that it is not unlimited amount of books a month you can say unlimited amounts of script exclusive content but specific number of books monthly like make it our choice to pick what we actually want to read don't limit us slowly limit us to specific books like let us read like three four books a month and the rest are script exclusive or whatever for ten dollars that would be amazing if you can be this honest with us i believe they are worth it but they need some improvements i will definitely pay money for them again in the future 
But in the meantime, I want to focus more on the books I own, but I'm going to definitely use Ever and again. If you want me to make part two of this experiment, please leave a comment so I can do it to pay them money for a month and see how many books I can actually read if I pay the subscription fee not just a free trial. But from what I heard from some people over the internet, it is nearly the same. But I will do it if you want me to pay a subscription fee of one month and see if it is different than the free trial. And if you want to try it for yourself, to try ever and yourself, and read for two months for free <laughs> for a limited number of books, you can use my link in the description box where you can get two months free of script slash ever and and then share your experience with me so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i really enjoyed it myself doing something different on my channel i hope you enjoyed it too please subscribe to see my future videos and i'll see you next time bye